So, it'll mount right back here on the back of the lawnmower. It'll, it'll mount right in there. There's like already bolt holes here for one. And uh, then uh, it'll be able to go up and down. So, if you've already seen the first video, then you know. We're building this out of an old uh, ball hitch receiver. And I've already got everything taken apart. Uh, I've got the main bottom lower uh, strut here kind of mocked up together, tack welded together. And I got this other piece uh, taken loose. It was welded on there pretty good. I had to go in there with a cutoff wheel and cut it all the way around and got the. Uh, ball receiver taken apart it was all rusted together so now we've got everything taken apart we're ready to put it together <laughs> and that'll go that way and this will sit right in there and then we'll weld that up and then you'll be able to put whatever implement that uh, that I built to go here on the back or I could put a ball on there like that and be able to move all my trailers around and not have to you know get down and dolly up and then move it and re-dolly it and spend all that time doing that I'll just be able to back up there and pick the trailer up move it you know mow under it and then put the trailer back I got several trailers so you know, it takes a lot of time to move all those, and, and then we'll be able to do other things too. So, let me get the welder set up. We'll get all that tech welded together. So, we will need some type of pin to hold all this together. I, uh, I don't know what this is. It was just in some of my junk. Whatever it is, it looked like it got broke at one point. But I think we can make a pin out of it. We'll just cut that off and then drill a hole through it. And, uh, you know, it'll be the right fit. So, let's get that done.
So for those of you that don't know this, when you go to drill something like this, you need to make a little bunch mark. And that makes a little low spot for the end of your drill bit to go in so it doesn't, you know, try to walk, you know. It'll keep that drill bit right there in that little hole so that you can drill a hole right through the center of this. Keep it going straight. Another thing you, you might want to know, um, if you're building, you know, if you're getting into building things like this, uh, I absolutely love it. I watch YouTube. I take y'all's ideals. I use them. I try to make them a little better, improve upon them. But uh, if you're getting into this, you want to go down and get you, go to the hardware store and buy you a box of these things. You can use them. they they got all different kinds of sizes in them. And uh, for these, for I think these are perfect for what I'm I'm doing because you can get your finger in there to pull this out. You don't need a tool. And you know, certainly these little ones wouldn't be big enough anyway, really. Kind of lightweight, but you get your finger in there, you can pull this out, change out what you gotta do. But yeah, pick y'all up a box of these. They're they're not much money. And another thing that's good. Um so as you know, we need to drill we didn't drill a hole through this. And let's see, we'll probably have to drill that this way. Um, in order to determine what size bit we need, uh, you you can get you one of these. Now that's that's for your drill bits. It's got all the different sizes on it. And you just go along there you know and find out which hole this this fits and I like the uh, 5 30 seconds so another good thing is you can check your drill bit so there's a 5 30 seconds we know that this is right okay There we go. Saved us a trip to a tractor supply, didn't it? So let's see if this is actually going to fit together. May have to run a drill bit back through there if these if these two holes, you know, if they don't line up properly. Good. 
See, that's a little tight, but it'll loosen up. There we go. So now we got our pin built. All right. So I've got it laid out. I've gone around here, measured. Uh, so we're about two and a quarter up off the bench on that end. Let's see, that one's about two and a half. Let's see what more is there. Two and a quarter. Two and three eighths. So I think we got to go that way just a little bit. And then we pull that back. Okay, I got a couple of speed squirters in here. Okay, two and three eighths. And we're still about two and a half on that one. Two and three eighths. Two and a quarter. So it's getting pretty close. I think it's probably close enough for me to live with. So bring that up a little bit more. Okay, we're two and a quarter on, on the front. And that one's two and a half. And that one's two and a quarter. So this corner is still just a little bit, a little bit high. Okay. Uh, six and a quarter. Six and a quarter. So we're, we're straight there. We're still about two and a half there. We'll weld all that up later.
time, folks. So, we got the tech welded together. It is, you know, it's this part of it is built. We come back, weld everything up. I like to just leave everything well tacked together when I'm building something. <clears throat> uh, I didn't draw any kind of plans up or anything like that. I, you know, I've been thinking about this obviously for a while, and I owned a lift for a, an old Murray lawnmower that I had years ago, and it had a manual lift that was, you know, similar to this, I guess, but it's going to work off the same principle. Uh, but anyway, I like to leave it all tack welded together. That way, if there's something I do need to change, it's easy to do because I can just cut the tacks, you know, move something, tweak it, whatever, you know, and we'll get it all together and know that it's going to work. And at that point, we will weld everything up. But as you can see now, this thing is, I mean, it's a beast. It is no joke. It's heavy duty. It's probably better than anything that I could buy. You know, if I could buy something like this, which you can. You can buy these for your lawnmower. Uh, you know, if you could get an old one, it would be heavier built. The newer stuff is, you know, half the thickness of this metal. And this is not going to wear out. And I doubt, seriously, that there is anything, any kind of a bind that I'm going to put this thing in with a riding lawnmower, okay, that's going to tear it up. Uh, you could put this on the back of a tractor, you know, a real tractor. <laughs> like, say that one right over there, you know. You could put this thing on that tractor, and it probably wouldn't tear it up. So you could build one of these. Uh, so far, there might be two hours in it. Um, we'll probably do a part three video and, and be done at the end of the third video. So right now, we still got plenty of time today. Uh, we're going to start building the mount that this thing is going to go on to mount onto the rear of the lawnmower. So we'll get, I'll get everything laid out and we'll be back. may look like overkill, but believe me, that is a piece of heavy steel. That is half inch. All right, folks, we got our, we got our base uh, cut out, and believe me, that was, you know, that was a bit much for my small plasma cutter, but it did it. Really, you know, they advertise it to, to be able to cut half inch. And as you can see, it will do half inch. But, let me tell you. Really, it's good for anything under half inch. It, it does an absolutely good job, wonderful job. But that half inch is, in my opinion, is a bit much... Uh, I'm not going to call it false advertisement, but it will, you know, it will cut it, but 
not very easily. So next we are going to cut these two pieces out and then we'll we'll drill a hole you know once we figure out what we're going to use to go through these two holes for the um you know for the lift these will be welded onto that plate okay that'll go on the back of the mower and and that'll be our pivot point uh for a lift and we may put a solid rod through there. We may use two bolts, two great big bolts. I don't know yet, but we'll figure it out when we get to that point. So I'll get those cut out right quick. All right, folks. So we got both of these cut out. And you can see the plasma cutter does a pretty good job. Uh, it's not perfectly straight, but for what we're building, it doesn't need to be. And I will grind these a little bit, you know, get all this lag off. And, uh, but anyway, these, like I was telling you earlier, we will drill a hole through these. And they will be welded right onto this plate. And then we'll have them either bolts or just a long rod that'll go through there and that's what gonna let do us go up and down so but anyway uh, that's about all we can do for today but we'll be back tomorrow in another video and hopefully uh, we'll get it done see y'all later